Hey, Joe Zekas from Yo Chicago. I'm here with Phil on Infill. And I was telling Phil, my take is uh, this is kind of a cool cityscape behind us, and Phil has a different take on it. It's not a completely different take. I mean, uh, one of the things that's been interesting about the West Loop as it's been developing is that um, uh, that partially because of zoning and I think partially because of what the planning department wants, um, there has been sort of an informal 10, 12 story height limit on buildings down here. And uh, uh, many of them have just risen as tall as like maybe eight stories. And what's happened is, um, if you look at the building over my right shoulder, that white building, um, it's really actually got a kind of an interesting feel from this far away and that high up. But when you get over to the building itself, it has an incredibly ugly base that, in the first place, is not pleasant to walk by, doesn't really add that much to the streetscape, but also doesn't really relate to the rest of the building. And that's the problem with an awful lot of these eight to 10 story buildings. You'll see it also over my left shoulder, that kind of greenish, um, bluish piece out there, which is actually sort of interesting, even though it has those horrible balconies uh, on the outside. Uh, it is kind of an interesting building, but again, if you get down close to it, the upper stories really don't relate to the bottom, because essentially what you've got is a floor of retail and then parking and then uh, the other buildings above. And one of the big problems is that I think that architects have not figured out how to treat the parking levels so that they become actually integrated with the rest of the building. Um, one of the only buildings I... Uh, sorry, one of the only short buildings or, or non-tall buildings I've seen to do this well is the uh, 630 North Franklin building, which is a, uh, pop, I'm sorry, it's a uh, Brennan Sewell Lynch building um, designed uh, by CMK. Um, but in general, I think that's what's really wrong with these mid-rise buildings, that nobody has quite figured out how to make them look like integrated halls. And Phil, I think we've come across an amazing discovery here. Blockbuster video? Maybe the last one. The last blockbuster in Chicago. Very possibly, and it's only a matter of moments before it closes. Awesome find, Phil. The last blockbuster in Chicago. One other thing to point out about the about the cityscape is that one of the most interesting parts of the West Loop is sort of just on the fringe of the West Loop, which is the Skybridge building, uh, which uh, now that it's four or five Zoom years old, Zoom I up think to the top of that from here. looks pretty great on the skyline. It's really an exciting sculptural object. And uh, I don't think people were really too sure about it when it first went up, but I think it looks pretty nice, particularly from this side. It's interesting to see the cantilevered uh, Pergola, almost. Yeah, like a, it's, like a, the... it's like a sunscreen in a funny way, but it's really nice. Okay. That one gets two thumbs up from me. That one is two thumbs up from Phil.